And welcome back. You might already know the story, but it's well worth repeating. It was right before Thanksgiving. The Chicago Blackhawks had just beaten the Toronto Maple Leafs. It was the tail end of a road trip. The guys were expected to head home then for a, a few days of family time. But instead, they stayed in Ontario, and at their own expense, they rented two buses. Why? To attend the funeral of the father of their general manager, Dale Talon. And joining us now on the phone from Edmonton to talk about that and other topics, one of the Hawks' young stars, Patrick Kane. Patrick, how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Thank you very much for your time. And I want to ask you first about the Dale Talon story and about that gesture. What do you think that means and what does it say about the character of your team? I think it was a good thing. I mean, uh, like you said, we came off a big win there in Toronto, and um, we figured it would be worth it to take, you know, time out of our daily lives just to, you know, pay respects to someone in our organization's father and someone who obviously meant a lot to Dale. And, uh, you know, just to show our faces, we were there for about an hour, just kind of chit-chatted with the family and um, Dale's daughters and his wife and his mother and things like that. And You could tell how sad they were and things like that, but you could also tell how, um, you know, grateful they were that we showed up for, for them for that. And, you know, it took um, time out of our daily schedule just to, you know, come and show respects and just talking to uh, Dale and his daughters about it. I think it, it really went a long way. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this, this wasn't something you, you advertised. I mean, we found out through, through emails and blogs and, and the like, and I can't for a second imagine that gesture happening unannounced in any other sport. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I think, uh, you know, it wasn't, uh, to be honest with you, I don't think we were really doing it for that. I think we were just doing it for Dale. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny how the word gets out. But, um, you know, I guess it's a good thing that, um, you know, all the press has come of it. Just as, you know, there's so many stories, you know, with, you know, the Avery thing, um, you know, other things like that going around the NHL that seem to be negative, And then, you know, things like this show up and it seems to be overshadowed. So um, I think this shows how, uh, you know, grateful players are in the league just to be in the league and also just to show uh, that we're regular human beings and we do these sort of things as well. Well, it's great stuff. Now let's talk about what's happening with you guys on the ice. And first of all, the job that Joel Quenville's doing for you. Yeah, he's uh, he's been he's been great. You know what, as a... Uh, Tough as it was to see Savvy get fired, he's been, you know, doing a lot of good things, and um, you know, I think he brings a lot of his presence to the room. He has so much experience with, you know, how long he's been in the league and how many games he's won. So, uh, you know, we have a young team, so I guess it uh, it, mold, it it bodes well for us that uh, we have an experienced coach, and he's done a great job so far. And I think everyone seems to like him. I think, uh, you know, when a new coach comes in, you're almost playing like it's tryouts again. But, um, you know, I guess it's a good thing because we've been hot with him as our coach. Yeah, you're uh, getting the job done right now in fourth place out west as I speak. Yep. What has this done for hockey in Chicago? You know what, I think um, starting from last year, I think uh, it's been a total 180 from where we've been. And uh, it's been fun to be a part of it, seeing, uh, you know, I remember my first preseason game, there's two or 3,000 people at it, and now you come to a you know, regular season game and you watch TV and things like that. You hear about the the Hawks selling out and lead the league in attendance. I think it's uh, it goes a long way for, for us players and obviously for hockey back in Chicago. And I think uh, when you talk about hockey being back in Chicago, I think uh, nothing's more evident than not, uh, us getting the Winter Classic game. So um, a lot of good things are happening right now. The team's playing well, and uh, hopefully the fans keep coming back because they're a big reason. Well, you mentioned the Winter Classic game. Let's talk about it quickly. Wrigley Field, New Year's Day. How much are you looking forward to that? Uh, it's going to be awesome. I think, uh, you know, it's showtime for the NHL. It's, uh, you know, great event for the NHL. It's uh, perfect for TV. I think there's so many good things that go into that game. And, um, you know, you talk about the Winter Classic. You have two original six teams with the Blackhawks and the Red Wings. And then it's at Wrigley Field, which is, uh, you know, one of the most historic venues in, in all of sports. So uh, I, th I don't think it gets much more classic than that. And, um, you know, obviously we're happy to be a part of it. All right, Patrick Kane. Again, thank you very much for your time, and uh, good luck the rest of the way this year. All right, thanks a lot.